think I'm gonna head home. I understand. Well, you're not gonna try and stop me? And how would I try and stop you? I don't know, by telling me life is short, and if you ever come across a beautiful, exciting, crazy moment in it, you gotta seize it while you can before that moment's gone. Ted, this moment already is gone. The whole Minnesota tidal wave thing happened five years ago. It's just a memory. And the rest of this never happened. Right now, Marshall and Lily are upstairs trying to get Marvin to go back to sleep. Robin and I are trying to decide on a caterer. And you've been sitting here all night staring at a single ticket to robots versus wrestlers because the rest of us couldn't come out. Look around, Ted. You're all alone. Kids, it's been almost 20 years since that cold April night in 2013. And I can safely tell you, if I could go back in time and relive that night, there's no way in hell I'd go to robots versus wrestlers. No, I'd go home. I'd go to my old apartment, see all my old furniture, my old stuff. I'd see my old drafting table where I sketched out my first building. I'd sit on that old couch and smell the Indian food cooking three stories below. I'd go to Lillian Marshall's place, be back in that old living room where so many things happened. I'd see the baby. I don't know if you can picture me holding your six foot seven cousin Marvin over my head, but back then I could. I'd go have a drink with Barney and Robin, watch them fight about their caterer or whatever it was they were fighting about that night. But none of those things is the thing I do first. You know the thing I do first. Exactly 45 days from now, you and I are going to meet, and we're going to fall in love, and we're going to get married, and we're going to have two kids, and we're going to love them and each other so much. All that is 45 days away. But I'm here now. I guess because I want those extra 45 days with you. I want each one of them. Again, if I can't have them, I'll take the 45 seconds before your boyfriend shows up and punches me in the face. Because I love you. I'm always going to love you. To the end of my days. Beyond. See? Can I help you? Oh, hey, it's uh, Lewis, right? It's okay. It's fine. Um, I'm in love with your girlfriend and uh, we're gonna get married. What? 